Hey, what's up everybody? Lombok Love Affair here with a comic book CGC sketch cover unboxing. Uh, this one comes with a story, uh, so I'm gonna give the story uh, first. But before I get into all of that, um, just wanna show off a book that I pulled out of the, the boxes. Um, Why the Last Man, number one, 9.4. Um, I have the entire set that I'm about to put up for sale. Um, but before I put it on eBay for the masses, uh, thought I'd open it up if people are looking to uh, have a full set. Um, the first issue is CGC, it had never been pressed, uh, and then uh, every other issue is raw in um, very fine plus to dear mint condition. So if you're interested, hit me up in the comments um, and maybe we can make a deal. Uh, otherwise, it will go back on eBay or go on eBay for the first time. So there's one comic book in here and what happened was uh, the other day, uh, CGC said that they, uh, they, uh, something was accepted in, in my CGC account. I did not submit anything uh, that I could remember that would be of that tier. And it was fast-tracked signature uh, CGC yellow label. And, um, but then I remembered. So uh, I have a sketch cover in here from Ryan Otley. Uh, Ryan Otley is currently doing uh, Amazing Spider-Man, uh, but he is best known for his Invincible work from Image Comics, um, one of my favorite series, and he's actually one of my favorite artists. He was on my list to get to um, last year, and this is actually a last year um, engagement. Uh, so the way the story goes is I connected with Planet Awesome Collectibles, on uh, Instagram. I've gotten several um, of my comic books signed uh, in the past through them. Uh, and what they do is they're a facilitator. Uh, they will take your books, uh, they will get them signed at conventions. Usually, uh, sometimes they have private signings. Uh, so for instance, I got my um, Rob Liefeld um, uh, New Mutants 98 and 87 done. Uh, and even on the New Mutants 87, I got a sketch of uh, a remark on that. Um, I have Andy, Andy Kubert on uh, a book, uh, Batman 655, or whatever the variant cover is to the first Damien. Um, so they've been really good to me. And so I reached out to him and said, hey, are you uh, ever going to be at a convention where Ryan Otley is going to be? And he was. And so I had a rush to get him a, uh, a blank cover because I wanted to get a sketch cover. Um, I rushed on eBay, purchased one, Invincible 111, I think is the issue. And it, issue 111 is a hard blank cover to find. Those books don't appear every day. And so I spent about 40 or so dollars on that book plus expedited shipping. So I was in it for about 50 bucks um, plus the fee that uh, Ryan Otley was charging. So I paid the fee uh, to Planet Awesome. I sent my blank cover. This is in October, and I actually had to send it um, overnight mail because I was running so behind. Uh, so there's some more charge. It's cost 20 or 30 bucks to send it uh, that price uh, that quickly. And um, I was dedicated, I was in it. I was really excited, but I, you know, I didn't want to spend that money, but I did. So. Weeks pass, months pass, not much communication back and forth. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, in the end, he wasn't able to get it done or he had given the book uh, to Ryan Otley's rep and it never made it to him to get the sketch or vice versa. I'm not quite sure what happened. So I was starting to get a little panicked and right around Christmas time, nothing. So October, November, December, three months, nothing and I stopped hearing from my contact at Planet Awesome. Um, what I did not realize is that he had gone through some family uh, issues, some, some personal stuff, and so he was not communicating. Uh, finally was able to track him down, communicated, um, really great guy. Uh, so like I said, I've had good experiences with him in the past. Um, he refunded my money. And not only did he refund my money, but he said, I'm gonna get you that sketch at some point in the very near future, and uh, I'm not gonna charge you for it because he made me wait so long. So um, kudos to him for his customer service. He did lose my book 
or uh, I should say Ryan Otley uh, lost my book, so there was no record of having that sketch blank cover, uh, which I spent so much money on. Um, and uh, sorry for talking so long, I just, there's a lot of background here. Um, so I, I, I was out of that book, but he brought, he found another blank, another invincible blank, not the same issue, um, and, uh, he, but he got the character, I think he got him at East Coast Comic Con, so that was in March, and then he was going to submit it to CGC on, on my behalf, and since he was paying for the sketch, I was like, let me at least buy the CGC, you know, the, the, the fee, so he put it under my account, um, but it never hit my account, never hit my account up until maybe three weeks ago, two weeks ago. So the results are right here. Uh, this took a long time to get to me and I'm excited to show it off. It's actually uh, a sketch cover of one of my favorite Invincible characters. So if, if you've never read that storyline um, or that series, I should say, you should. Uh, super fun. It took me a little bit to commit myself to reading it, but I bought, um, years ago, I bought on eBay issue one through a hundred, and uh, I bought it for like three or four hundred dollars, and so the price per book was pretty, pretty much cover price, um, and uh, I'm really excited that I was able to binge it in that way. So this is Invincible 128. So it's a more recent Invincible uh, book. So it's not the hard to find Invincible 111 sketch cover, but you know, so be it. I don't know the grade, because this is a, a clear example of someone else picked out my blank cover. I didn't do it. So I'm at the mercy of whatever he picked out. So hopefully he picked out a good one. So, um, <laughs> you know, it was late, all that other stuff. So here's some hope, but it's, it's a freebie. So I appreciate, appreciate that. So let me, I'm gonna look at this before you all, before you all catch a glimpse. He chose well. So, I have a 9-8 Ryan Otley convention cover sketch of Conquest. So this villain uh, was in Invincible 60s or seven, early 70s. Um, super cool character, love the character. He wasn't in the series long, but Ryan Otley's big on blood in the storyline. It's not uh, for the faint of heart. Um, so uh, he, you know, he, I had the choice of bloody or not bloody, and I said, oh, yeah, let's add some color. Let's do some blood. So um, really cool. This is amazing Hawaii Comic Con variant cover, um, and you, I don't know if you can see, but he, um, you got the Newton rings there, but he penciled in all of this and then he inked. Um, so that is really cool. Um, worth the wait? I think so. Uh, but I waited so long I was, I was doubting actually the character. I was thinking maybe I want Nova. He does a cool Nova. Or maybe I just want Invincible, or maybe I want Spidey. Um, so I'd definitely go back to him and uh, try to get another cover someday, but not right away. Um, he's a pretty pricey guy, but I was excited to, um, you know, bite the bullet and uh, get this sketch cover. Uh, and you know, like I said, this was a freebie, which I really, really appreciate. Um, you know, they don't do that normally, but because he messed up so uh, so much and was not communicating, he felt like he wanted to do that. And so uh, definitely would use them again. They have booths at different con conventions, so you can check out Planet Awesome Collectibles. They have a lot of sketch covers. They have a lot of signatures. They do a lot with Kevin Eastman. Um, I didn't get anything through Kevin Eastman with him, with them, but uh, they always have him at their booth, uh, it seems, whenever uh, they have a place to, to camp out at a convention. So... Um, pretty cool. And this is hot on the heels of the other sketch that I had from my last haul, which was the Larry Stroman, Mr. Sinister. So definitely a different type of sketch, different style, but um, pretty cool, pretty cool shading that he used. I'm always curious on the tools that the artists are using. Um, definitely darker than this guy, but I do love a sketch collection. Uh, I love uh, getting those covers, 
it's been my uh, goal over the past couple of years since I got into CGC stuff, but I've been collecting since I was a kid. So, uh, so yeah, so my, today is uh, Monday the 1st, uh, Friday the 5th is my birthday. It's not just my birthday, it's my 40th. So um, uh, I'm planning to do some comic book hunting in Montreal. Uh, and so if anyone's been to Montreal and has recommendations of places to find the keys, uh, let me know. Uh, but uh, other than that, I got this awesome sketch cover and um, just wanted to show this off. So appreciate everyone for watching and um, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to y'all later. All right. Thanks.